Good morning, crypto family. I am back with another update. When you feel like giving up, did Elon Musk give up on making these rockets land? Did Jeff Bezos give up on Amazon? Did Peter Thiel give up on PayPal? Did David Goble give up on Methuselah Foundation? And the answer is no. <laughs> at 1062 what you think about that you're a very brilliant man why I say that the prices are low it's at 1062 and a lot of people are selling their bags only if they knew Elon <laughs> only if they knew but yeah I mean look look at the holders it's growing. We're sitting at 126,000 holders. It's growing, Elon. But what I want to ask you is this. You and Vitalik Buterin, you guys are doing a magnificent job. A magnificent job. I know, you know, you're going to get back to me with these messages, but, uh, this is basically a voicemail, you know. I'm letting you know that us Dogalon warriors, the army, we're behind you. We're behind this project. We're behind life, longevity, family. Also, I seen a tweet from Vitalik Buterin, you know, March 30th, 2020. And this is what he said. You probably already read it. But if we're being more open-minded about accepting new weird ideas, can I suggest anti-aging research? Aging is a humanitarian disaster that kills as many people as World War II. Every two years and even before killing debilitates people and burdens social systems and families. Let's end it. You're doing a great job. You see, the tweet that you had posted, I say a couple of days ago, you had said, uh, you know, we need to make more babies. We need more people on this earth so we can populate Mars. And I know you're against killing, you know, killing people and putting all different type of situations in their body. But I believe that longevity, e-longevity, 
is the key and the future. What a brilliant idea. Now, only if everybody know that, you know, you are backing Methuselah Foundation. And as you see, they were they posted this yesterday. Phase two of deep space food challenge is open. Nutrition is at the core of human health and longevity. This is a nutrition challenge we hope you amplify. The future of food for humans in space and on Earth will be coming to life through deep space food to the moon and Mars. So I wanted to show everybody, the viewers that's watching my channel, like how close we are to be living in space, how close we are to be having food on Mars. Biological life support systems offer a unique solution to sustaining astronauts in space and are seen as an integral part of deep space travel. These systems leverage the biology of robust organisms tuned for efficiency and survival. Our plan is to use safe microbes to upcycle human waste into nutrient-dense feedstock for our platform organism, Euglena gracilis. Euglena is a robust, single-celled eukaryote with a dynamic metabolism and amazing nutrient profile that we are already using on Earth in food applications. Our Euglena biomass is GRAS safe for consumption, and by engineering it for taste, texture, and smell, we'll provide a unique and healthy food solution for deep space travel. And as you see, Elon, you have gathered great scientists around the world, around the world to create food and space. So I seen one of your buddies, Pranay Paho, and uh, he, he posted a picture, an article from 2003, showing how you and SpaceX to make rockets reusable. And as you followers that see this right here, this is in 2003. Elon, <laughs> you have a great mind. And as you guys can see, he's been working on this. He has been working on this. And look, it is working. It is happening right now. We will be living on Mars. Longevity is the key. Elon, <laughs> You said this is going to happen, and it did. It's it's happening right now. And I know you don't like to give out, you know, tell them straight out. You're a out-of-a-box thinker, you know. You don't think like us people on Earth. You think as a Martian. So I wanted to show everybody with the Uniswap and, and how people are selling their bags and how mostly more people are buying into Dog and Law Mars because of longevity. Everybody asks about the utility of Dog and Law Mars, but they don't really get the science. They don't want to read it. They don't want to learn it. So, as you see, people are buying into Elon. They're buying. And then you see they're selling. But down here, 43 minutes ago, $30,000. They spent $30,000 on Elon. They gained 27 billion coins. 27 billion coins. While everybody else is selling their petty change. They're selling it because they're scared. They're still drowning, Elon. They're still drowning only if they knew that you're trying to give them a helping hand. Only if they knew. But I know. That's why we keep this close relationship. That's why the viewers that is watching this channel, that is subscribed to this channel, they all know as well. They know they are going to be multimillionaires, billionaires and trillionaires into space, literally. This is the first intergalactic coin, family. 
And we are warriors. We are warriors, family. So I wanted to put this here to show you guys people who are swapping out their Elon for Ethereum. They're selling these type. They're, they're, they're making this type of money right here. They have no faith. As you can see, people who are swapping their Elon for ETH, they didn't really even have any money in there. But people who did swap Elon for ETH, it's a lost cause. And there's not that much to say. Just know this. Don't miss out on this train because we're heading to the loading station. Everything is packing up right now. AIs, everything. You can't give up. We're only going to be more stronger, more successful. We're going to be more brilliant. We are the brilliant minds in this space, family. So once again, remember this. You are going to miss out on the greatest transformation of wealth in history. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm definitely not a financial advisor, but I'm telling you my story. This is my story, my documentary of becoming a multi-billionaire, a trillionaire, because I hold Dogalon Mars. That uh, when Mr. Trump, whether you uh, love him or hate him, this was the beginning of the greatest transformation of wealth the world has ever fucking seen since World War II. See, I know what he was going to do. I knew what he, and I know what he's going to do now. And he hasn't even got started. Now, what are you, what are you going to tell your kids and your grandkids 25 years from now? When they say, gee, daddy, gee, grandpa, what were you doing other than having your thumb up your big fucking ass doing the greatest transformation of wealth in the history of the world? What were you fucking doing? Fuck all, nothing. That's what most of you will tell them, your grandchildren and your children. It's never going to get any better than this, kids. This is the, as I said on YouTube, the eye of the perfect motherfucking storm. This is it. I never thought I'd live to see it again. This is going to make the 80s look like a nursery rhyme, which I, praise Allah, praise Buddha, praise God, I participated in slashing and raping everybody in the 80s, legally. This is going to make that look like a fucking nursery rhyme. And what are you going to tell your kids? Oh, I had a spreadsheet it. I had to think about it. I had to read another book on M&A, you fucking morons.